You have been doing things wrong your entire life. Like that guy over there. That's not how you dip your Oreo in the milk. What do you mean, bro? Look, it's fully covered. That is not the right way to do it. So you take a fork and you stick it in the middle of the Oreo. Oh. Pull it out. And now you have an easier way of dipping your Oreos. Bro, wait, hold on. Can I try it? Of course. That's so cool. One of those and you just... Oh, hey, bro! What? What is wrong with you? I put the whole thing in. As long as you're not like this guy, you should be good. Did you know that if your coffee is bitter, you can add salt to it and it'll take it away? I want a refresher. Well, that's not happening. All right. Okay, listen, I'll get the coffee for the video and get a refresher. Dude, I want the face rub drink. Do you guys have salt packets on the yeah. side that I could add? How many of these, man? I got like seven on me right now. Let's run the seven. That's fine. <laughs> hey, I appreciate that. Or you always be making it the best. I'm not gonna Damn. lie. Damn. My name is Faz. <laughs> Faz Rug. <laughs> That's so good. Tastes like me? It does. Oh, all right, here we go. So we're gonna try this. Yeah, very bitter. We're gonna do all of them, bro. Here, you wanna help me out? Oh, you got salt on you too. Obviously. Oh, okay. Like, I don't just like play around. I have like the Himalayan on. Wait, wait, hold on. All right, here we go. Let's see if there's actually a taste difference. See it. No, right? Hold on, yeah. let me see. I wanna do this one. Ooh, it's like too salty now. I made it worse. Keep drinking your coffee normal. You guys have been doing it right. <laughs> I guarantee you every single person out there watching has been using this air freshener wrong. How so? You take it out and then you just open the whole thing. You take the tree out and you put it up here. Yeah. That's incorrect. How? This is the craziest thing ever, but these are actually supposed to last you six months if you do it properly. Six months? Yep. So you see these two black lines right here? Yep. This is important. So you're going to cut it just like that. Then you're going to do the other side. So you open it up, take it out. See how it's like pulled out? a little bit right this is how you're supposed to do it oh look at this guys i know it looks ugly but the real way and how they explain it in the directions is like that so right now the smell is really strong every two weeks you're supposed to pull this down a little more just like that and it's supposed to last you six months that's insane usually these last like maybe a week or two because you use all the smell oh, right once. away bro has it like this oh my gosh i have one this has been in my car for like two years i didn't even realize it was there. <laughs> dude i haven't been to a park in so long how upgraded is this oh. Oh. but there is something that you guys probably didn't know how to use in a park at least when i saw this i was mind blown did you ever know how to go down one of these slides this is a slide i thought it was just so you could like climb up to get to the top right there's a specific way to go down that where you go pretty fast Bro, what the you can tell he's been doing it wrong his whole life. Nice to meet you. I've been watching the videos for so long. Thank you. Do you guys know how to use this or no? This one is messed up. So this is supposed to be in the middle. That's what I thought. Yeah, so they so just built it wrong? Yeah, they built it yeah. wrong. Yeah, I guess we can't do it. It wasn't our fault. It wasn't. A Ziploc bag. A classic staple inside everyone's home. This is big already. Sometimes you want to travel with something a little bit bigger and maybe you don't have the time to go get another bag. Pull another one of those out. And what I want you to do is to flip it inside out. All okay, right. so flip this yep. inside out. What you're going to do now is you're actually going to place that bag inside of this one and you're going to line it up with the lining of the ziploc bag oh and it locks in and it locks in what place that inside of here i hear it clicking so once you have it all the way lined up you kind of crease it down a little bit more to make sure it's fully secure boom damn wait i didn't know that was a thing now you do there you go a little hat now <laughs> Did you guys know that Tic Tacs have a special dispenser that if you want to give your friend just one Tic Tac, it's used for that. When you want to be greedy, you're going down in your last few ones. You don't want to get Like, look at this. You see this, obviously, regular Tic Tacs. No, you want some? Yeah. That's Thanks. too much for you. You guys see this right here. It was made to just dispense one at a time. Look at this. So you close it, flip it upside down. Oh, clean. You can only have one. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, that's actually sick. One Tic Tac. And it just looks cool. You can use these to flex on your friends. They would think you're so much cooler. And don't tell them you saw this video. Just say that you knew this. Yeah. Because you're him or her. All right, just grab our soda so we can head out. Oh, my favorite one. Bro, 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 bro. That's not a real soda. Says who? It's the out of order. That's a Dr. Pepper. There's another party trick here that you guys probably didn't know. If you guys grab two sodas from the gas station, you could actually use a plastic bag as a cup holder. You just have to do what I'm talking. Huh? Do you know about that cup holder party trick with the plastic bag? I've seen it. I have seen it. If I think you put one in down. One corner, then you twist the bag, I think. Oh. You're going to put the other one. In there? In this side. And that's it? And that's it. No and There's way. a cup holder. Wait, that's it. Fine. Testing the durability of these cup holders. Bro. Oh. Come on, G. Pass the test. That's so sick. Favorite one so far. Did you know that you've been drinking water wrong your whole life? Bro. 
if you're anything like me, you hate the taste of plain water, which is why I've been using Air Up. So Air Up is a water bottle that actually creates flavor through scent. I know, it sounds cool, right? Let me show you how it works. They have so many flavors to choose from, but my personal favorite is watermelon. So this is what they look like. Oh, that smells so good. So you're gonna pop it open, just like that. You take the pot out, you pop it over the top, and when you pull it up, you take a sip. It literally tastes like watermelon, but you're just drinking regular water. The main thing I love about Air Up is that it actually motivates me to drink water every single day. I literally had a problem with it before where I would drink like one water bottle a day, but I refill this at least six times a day. I'm sure you guys are all curious to try this out for yourselves and see how it works. So I'm gonna be giving you guys 15% off if you use code RUG at checkout. Click the link in the description. Bro, no way you have bubbles right now. You know I love those. And I can guarantee you've been using this wrong your whole life. Show me how you do it. Okay. <sighs> and, and. Let me show you how you're really supposed to use these bubble wands. Oh, yo, yo. <laughs> Just gotta be good with the motion, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, there you go. It's supposed to do it faster, right? Wait, that's actually really fast. It's fast, bro. You're like turning into a bubble machine. One of the worst things ever. Taping something and trying to take off the tape, but you rip the paper. Oh, it's so annoying. So there's a certain way you could take the tape off where it won't rip the paper. Really? Yeah. Try this one right here, okay. how you would normally do it. Oh, no. Oh, wow, it took the whole like away. But if we could successfully take this tape off, with subscribe written on this paper after. You gotta subscribe. Can you hold that side, please? I can, yeah. And then we'll take this side off. So you just pull it like that. Okay. And now, oh. you can see it slowly coming off. If you wanna just keep doing it. Okay, we're almost there. And then hold on, I'm gonna slowly take this off now. No way. Look at that. Wait, that's perfect. You just stretched the tape. I would have never guessed Same. that. This is one of my favorite ones. To the camera. So you hold your burger like this, right? I actually don't. You're holding it upside down. Bro, everyone confronts me about it. I hold my burgers like this. What's the problem? Bro, that's the bottom bun. Yeah, but what does it matter? It's I guess it does into your body, I bro. guess it doesn't matter. Do you guys hate when your burger falls apart? That's the that's worst. That's the worst thing to happen. So there's a specific way you can hold your burger where it'll be very firm and nothing will fall out. Some people actually do this already. This is just something I learned right now. You take your pinkies and you put them at the bottom. Okay. So you're holding it like this. And now you can take a nice bite. What? Mm -hmm. Look at that, all in one place. If I was holding it the other way, the tomato would have fallen That's out. so true. Is that your ketchup? Yeah. You're still doing it wrong. Bro, what do you mean I'm Bro, doing it wrong? Follow me. Come on, let's go to the ketchup stand. I wouldn't say you're necessarily doing it wrong, okay? but there's a better way of putting ketchup in one of these packets to get more. Bro, you know it all. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to start pulling this, right? Just like that. So you're going to keep doing it until it gets flat. You can put way more ketchup. Bro. My boy goes crazy with the ketchup, though. You learned something? That's actually sick. I'm still doing it my way. <laughs> Wait, my burger just got here. Oh, what is that, fam? It's an onion bun burger. <laughs> Y'all don't do that? Like, come on now. You can be customizing anything nowadays. Bro, see, look at the pinky underneath. Oh, so it still works. Mm -hmm. Dude, the grilled onions here, insane. This one right here, bro, absolutely mind-blowing. Tell me more. <laughs> so you know this paper towel holder right here, right? So yeah. just have it on your kitchen table. Dude, that is the worst Bro, sound of all doing? time. So this is the normal way of doing it, right? But now, you see this part right here? If you have a cabinet, I don't know if it was invented for this, <laughs> but if you put it like that, oh, it holds it, and look. Wait, oh. that's cool. The only thing is the cabinet doesn't close all the way. Dude, I want you guys to try that. If you guys have that paper towel holder, because that's crazy. Mustard bottles have locks on it. Stop. Locked into place. In what? Instead of having it like that, you literally just press it all the way back and... Because usually you would get in the way when you're trying to dispense it. But exactly. Insane. No, you like your neck pillow, right? Huh? It must be working wonders for your neck sleeping like that. Yeah, supporting it really good. But you're sleeping like this. Is yeah. that how you normally sleep on a plane, right? Yeah, of course. Just like bend over a little bit. You're actually wearing it wrong. You're lying. Look at this. What? So when you actually lean forward, you have support left, right, down. I feel like it's personal preference, of course, depending on how you sleep, because obviously you could still sleep like this. But from what I've seen, a lot of people do this now, and it supports it's very subtle, but it works. You can leave me alone now. I got you, bro. 
You get out of the shower, you put the towel around your waist like this, right? Sometimes it might not be tight enough and it'll easily come apart. There's a new way of doing it that I just found out. You put it around your waist and instead of tucking this in on the inside, you can literally just roll the towel and the more you roll it, the tighter it gets. Oh my God, bro, this actually feels good. It actually looks better too, like it looks clean. In almost every single car made, if you're about to go put gas, and sometimes I forget which side my gas tank is on, but in most of the cars, if you look at your dashboard, you'll see a gas tank symbol and it'll have a little arrow either pointed to the right or left And that's to tell you where your gas tank is. So you're already holding one thing You don't want to hold another either We're gonna remove the gas cap and see this little thing right there Everyone's car is different, but they actually have a holder. Wait, what? <laughs> you kind of just place it right there and you're chilling. You just blew my mind for real crazy I wonder if it's like that for all cars mostly every car my first car had it Sometimes it can be a pain in the butt getting foil out like this you're already struggling. Like, I'm literally struggling, but did you know on the sides of the foil container, there's two circles right here that you could press in and it locks it into place. Because right now, it's not locked. Okay. Do you want to do the honors? I would love to. Press so. one side. All right. Whoa. It's locked in now. Simple as that? Yeah. And then now it should just be a lot easier. That's fire. Look at that. And it's just within like the whole flaps right here. Like they made it for that. An unknown fact about a stapler that 90% of the world probably didn't know, including myself. All you have to do is get to the bottom of it. Literally. Right here. So, you guys probably didn't know that there was a little like scroll wheel there. Now, you just use a stapler, right? Does what a stapler is supposed to do. Now you see how close together the staples are? Yep. If you just press this down, you pop that open, you can twist this, right? And now the stapler is gonna staple further away. What? Look at this. Ow! Stop, bro, stop. Ah, you got All you. All right, turn it around. Dang! It's further apart now. What's the point of that, though? What does it matter if they're close or far? I think some teachers wanna be different. True. Noah, shuck the corn. Huh? Like, take oh, it out of the it. Oh, peel it. Yeah, 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 peel it. I guess, okay. another word. Ah. That's really annoying. It's just taking a lot of your time, right? Yeah, it is. Well, if you boil the corn first, it's a lot easier to shuck. It actually falls right out. So we're gonna take it out, we're gonna put it on here. So you cut the bottom part, like that. And now, bro, oh, look at that. Yo! It came right out. Bro, this is a beautiful piece of corn. It's Dude. corn. A big lump of knobs, it has the juice, it has the juice. Wait, that was cool. There's an easier way to eat your wings by separating all the chicken from the bones so you're getting all the meat. You don't have to go like left, right, mm. middle. I think what you do is you kind of loosen it a little. I right? see, I see. Oh, I can already see it coming apart So now bit. I'm holding this side okay. and this side. Yep. And I think you just bite down and pull. Whoa. Um, I mean, that wouldn't work. Kind of. Wait, you but that actually made it easier because you can eat around it. Mm -hmm. No way. No way. Oh, wait, is that all the meat? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, wait. Hold on, I gotta give it another try. Okay. Yeah, it's very messy, but it's super effective. All my coffee lovers out there, listen up. Take it away. If you want to fill up your coffee with something other than just regular ice, because, you know, that's so normal. It's normal, and bro, when the ice melts, your coffee gets watered down, and you don't want that. So what you do is you put coffee inside of an ice tray, and you actually make coffee ice cubes. If the ice melts, it's just more coffee. We're gonna make some of this right now. Oh, oh okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's me. In the freezer they go. I got you, I got you. I know you have some phase rug magic going on right when I put this in. Watch this. Without even closing it. We have some made from earlier. Let's go. I would say just keep it in overnight. This is the final result. Whoa! Oh, that's Whoa. magical. For the coffee. Definitely need that creamer, Noah. You already know. Let's see the transformation. And the transformation is... Whoa. Is it good? When the ice touched my lip, like you taste the coffee there too, bro. Mm hmm Solid. I'm sure all of you guys have been peeling your bananas wrong your whole life. How do you peel a banana wrong? Obviously, you see the stem, you pull it down. That's what you think is right. You're supposed to actually do it this way, upside down. You pinch the bottom, and then you start peeling. What? Guys, this is literally how monkeys peel bananas. Oh, and they know what they're talking that's about. That's how you know that's the right way of doing it. Wait, this looks correct too. Shout out Donkey Kong, bro. <laughs> this is a cool way of peeling your orange. So usually when you peel an orange, it gets kind of annoying because when you're doing it, it gets a lot under your nails. If you have a cut too, the citrus burns so bad. You have a method. There's a cool way to peel an orange and I'm just excited to see if it works. So you're gonna cut one side like that, cut the other side like that. So you're gonna try finding one of the seams and you're gonna line it up with the knife and cut directly down the middle. So like right there. And then you're gonna wanna cut halfway down 
Ooh. Look at that. Do what you want with it. I like Wait, to keep mine this like this. It makes it cool because like if you want to share it, you can just kind of pull it apart and just like hand it to your friends now. Look at that. That's perfect, bro. All right, Noah, strain the pasta. All right, stop, 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 stop. That's wrong. How's that wrong, bro? Let me show you. Put the strainer on the top. Okay. Oh. And it all stays in the pot. All stays in the pot. Just an easier way so you don't have to like dump it back. That looks good. You can actually just add sauce in there now. That's such an easy one that I would have never thought of. Same. We got some Chinese takeout. Let's just eat it the right way. Let's do it. Take off the sides, right? Yeah. First, open the top, and then you can start taking off the sides. Wow. That is so clutch, bro. And watch it all drop into place. And just like that, you got your plate. When the ice cream is rock solid, and you have to sit there and wait for 10 minutes, wait for it to get soft, so and you're just annoying. so hungry, you want that ice cream, so you just start going crazy, right? Yep. Simple fix. Hot water, dip this in here, let it get warm, and now, oh, look at how smooth that was. And you get fresh, ice cold ice cream. Smooth That's so like good. butter. Oh, so easy. Oh, I got you. And bro, okay. I got you. <laughs> It works though. It works at least. Jason Tatum, you might have to make a part two on how to tie a tie because we just found a way to do it in 10 seconds. Literally. Let's get on it. It's legit. All right, Noah, I need your help. I know this looks weird, right? One, two, whoo, three. Now you're gonna go in from under here and grab this second one and pull it. What? Look at that, man. Got it? Boom. Just like that, bro. Take notes, Jason. Yeah. Can I come in? Yeah. How's it going? Not good, bro. Oh, you brought it? Yep. You do realize you're pooping the wrong way by I just do. having your feet on the ground. I do. I needed this. If you put your feet on that stool, it's a healthier way to go number two. It lets it out actually like way easier and like it clears yourself out really fast. Yeah, the bowel movement is way better with your feet increased like that. I'm actually gonna use that all the time. Bro, it's a new position. So now that we have our pasta ready to go, we wanna add some cheese to it, we need that. Usually you get your block of cheese and do it on the side here and kinda of just grate it, but that is incorrect. Turn it to the side now, lay it on top, and look at this. Oh, wow. And now it catches all in the grater itself. And let's just say when you're done, Boom. That's cool. Simple. Can I see that real quick? Yeah. Yo! I'm a sucker for cheese, bro. When you open batteries, specifically Duracell, you can actually lock the box back up so your batteries don't fall out. It's the most annoying thing. Mostly, and everyone should know this, so they have a little flap here, right? Mm -hmm. So you kind of pull that down. So we have the flap open. I'm gonna fold it down kind of like this. So here, so. let me take the battery out real quick. Okay, I'm done using the batteries now. You fold the top part, and you just tuck it inside there, and put that inside of there. Boom. Bro! Simple origami, baby. And I think that was what it was meant for. Yeah, we would have yes. never knew. I already know you've been tying your trash bags wrong the whole time. Okay, look at this. Some people just do it like this, and they just take it out, right? You see that extra space right there? There's a lot of it. The right way to do it, you grab it like this, okay. you put this around right here, put it in a knot, right? And tie it. Okay. Oh. There's no space. That's the proper way of doing it. And you see inside my trash can? I do. There's more rolls in there? There's more rolls of trash bags, and another thing people like to do is keep that at the bottom, so when you're done taking out the trash, it's already there. You don't have to go anywhere else. Right now. I I could just put the new trash bag in without going to the cabinet, grabbing another one. It's cool, but at the same time, like it does take space away from the trash can, you know? Yep. Preference. Put this in and now we can throw our trash away. And that. Yeah. Alright. Simple. So when you have a gift bag like this with the laces in them, you can actually seal it with these. You know, no one wants to see their gift. They yeah. want to be surprised. You don't want anyone peeking in either. You literally just take these laces and you put them through the opposite side, just like that. And you do the same on this side. All right. And now the satisfying part. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one, go. Wow. Just like that. And now look, literally sealed. You cannot peek. Dude, I'm still dude. Gonna peak. I'm still gonna peek. It's time to make some popcorn. So if it's late at night and you wanna use a microwave, you know when the microwave goes off, it does the beep, mm -hmm. beep, beep. There is certain microwaves that you can turn that off just so you can be more stealth. Place that in there. And for this specific microwave, you hear the beeps, right? Just like that. If you hold the number eight, that's it. Now look, I'm gonna press the popcorn button. Just like that. It's obviously not gonna take the noise from the microwave away, but it won't beep once it's done. So discreet. There's something else you've been doing wrong with the popcorn top. Oh, so we'll wait for that to pop. Everything's just wrong today. <laughs> Three seconds. Look at this, it's not gonna beep. That's it? Yup. Oh. So you guys see that slit at the bottom, right? You know it's to take all the leftover kernels out? That makes so much sense. I hate crunching those. Bro, same. Okay, let's see if this works. So you just shake it. There they are. 
Bro, isn't that nuts? All these unnecessary kernels. Did they actually make that for that or did people just find it out, used it as a life hack? You just never know. Boom. A lot less kernels, if there even are any left. Bro, like I haven't seen one kernel fall. As a gamer, bro, how do you eat these? Cause I, I have a method. Okay, what's your method? I put salt on it. <laughs> bro. <laughs> I've that method since I was little. That? Whoa! That's my method. Wait, that's the things you didn't know either. I guess so. Yo, this is the most mind-blowing one. <laughs> and you just, you already knew it. Yep. So, Brian, I know you know this, but recently I went one week without my phone. And it was the hardest thing ever. This text right here saying, everyone's seen this should have a great day, because you should. If you want to edit this without having to, you know, like go in between the words and do all I that. I hate that. It's or annoying. like pressing down on the screen. Is it, that the hack? Like you press down and move No. It? You go all the way to the end and you hold space. No. And now you can move with the space bar? You can move with the space for anywhere you want to edit your text. That's the best one. Wait, what? That's the best one. If you guys learned something new in this video, drop a like, hit that subscribe button, and we are out. Peace.